Kiri, the two-year-old German Shepherd, is on a path to become a service dog. For James, a Marine veteran with PTSD. When I spoke with James, he mentioned that he's really hoping that a service dog will be able to help him pick up everyday objects around the house. The big question is, how do I get that dog that likes to retrieve balls now to retrieve more unorthodox objects? I do it through a process known as bridging. This starts with a toy and a dumbbell. I cut a strip out of the ball, just big enough to where the ball fits around the dumbbell. You know what this is? I hold the dumbbell up in front of her, and I say the words, pick it up, pick it up. Naturally, she grabs the ball part of the dumbbell. Good, that's a pick it up, that's a pick it up. As she's holding it, I'm praising her, letting her know what she's doing is right. And then I say the words, give it here, and naturally, she releases the ball. So this process gets repeated over and over a few times. Whoa, that's a give it here, okay. But from there, what I do is I cut that ball in half. Technically, the ball is still there, but now it's gotten smaller. Pick it up. Whoa, that's a hold it. Brandon continues to cut away sections of the ball until finally, only the dumbbell remains. The dumbbell will be a bridge to more practical household items. But right now, it all starts with this dumbbell. Give it here. Good, that's a give it here, nice. The bridge has been formed. Nice. Kiri has excelled in her private studies. Now Brandon is taking her training public. A basic skill that every service dog should be able to have is the ability to be in a public place. So today I'm taking her to a cafe with outside seating. Now, even if a dog has a good lie down, after a certain period of time, they get bored and they want to stand back up. But Kiri has to learn that a lie down in her world means lie down until I say it's okay for you to stand up, no matter how long the time is. Stand her down. I have her lie down and I step on a leash at just the right area so she can stand up, but not all the way. So after a few seconds, she realizes that lying back down is the only logical way to get comfortable. We practiced this technique everywhere we went. I conditioned Kiri to the point that whenever we got anywhere, she would simply lie down and I wouldn't have to step on the leash anymore. As the weeks roll by, Brandon shapes Kiri into a model cadet, perfecting her common commands. And pick it up. And bridging her retrieve to common household objects. And give it here. Good. Good, nice, very good. And as her service training comes to an end, Kiri fetches her biggest prize yet, a graduation collar. There, there, how's that feel? Mm -hmm. Over the last few months, I've worked overtime to turn Kiri into a phenomenally trained service dog. And Kiri, she definitely rose to the challenge. But this all means nothing if her and James can't form their own bond. You look great, but guess what? You're not a service dog just yet. One final step, come on, come on, come on. Very good boy, excellent work, hup, hup, very good boy.